For months, the chance for racial justice rang out through Denver with thousands of people marching in the streets around Colorado calling for change. As we continue to look at how Coloradans are working to address racial disparity in our state, we want to focus on the changes some of the youngest organizers are fighting for. Nine News reporter Mark Salinger introduces us to 10 for 10. Name. Behind every chant, every protest, and every march, there are organizers fighting for change. This summer was incredible. It was inspirational. Uh, it was breathtaking. This is the start. Like, this is literally just the beginning. Peter Lubambella and Jalen Tarod are two leaders of the 10 for 10 group, an organization of young people in Colorado fighting for racial equality and against police brutality and gun violence. They were busy this summer protesting for change. Just to see all of it come to life right in front of your eyes is just like you're taken aback. Peter started the group as a way to give back to the community, asking 10 black men to give $10 to feed 100 people at the local shelter. From there, it's grown into something much bigger. I feel like we're fighting for our humanity. I feel like we're fighting for our voice. I feel like we're fighting for ourselves. In July, they gathered in Montbello, chanting the names of friends lost to gun violence. My heart aches even as I look into the crowd. Tears are falling in my eyes because just like the community, I feel the pain. And standing in silence in the hope that no one else will be killed. Fighting to be heard, demanding to be heard. After a summer of protests, both Jaylin and Peter are now back in Washington, D.C., where they're students at Howard University. The fight continues back in Denver. Everybody knows the fact that like our education system is underfunded. We all know the fact that like uh, kids of color, especially black and brown kids, don't necessarily have the resources that they need to be successful. 10 for 10 has the ear of the leaders of this city. At one march, they organized the police chief and mayor showed up. Now they say it's time for them to act on what the group of young people have told them. It's kind of frustrating, you know, like to be asking for something that feels so in reach but to be told no over and over again. <laughs> for mental health resources, for education funding, for safety and security, for after school programs, 10 for 10 marches. It's exhausting, but when you have the presence of the community with you, it feels a little bit more bearable. The march has just begun, but it's far from over. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, Nine News. 10 for 10 was just one of the groups organizing the marches and protests we saw over the summer, and they say they want to focus on finding solutions to the issues that impact young people the most. All this month, we've been looking at racial disparity in Colorado and what's being done to change it. Our Disparity in Colorado project continues next week when we look into disparities with health care access, housing, and pay.